Hello everyone, my name is Linsfied, and I am back with another week's worth of Unreal Engine 4 learning. Uh, this week was relatively slow as far as the work goes. I uh, had to do some preparation for my younger brother's birthday. Um, I had family in town, so there were some festivities that got in the way of work. However, I still managed to get stuff done. I've still got fun things to show you, so let's get cracking. Um, if you can see in this blueprint, the uh, bullet finally has a good material. Um, and that's because I actually finally learned how materials work. Hooray! So I, got, I gave it a nice glow, um, which, which is which is super nice, might I say. That looks good in game as well. Um, materials down here, I'll show you kind of how I did it. Um, again, this isn't a tutorial or anything, but I really like it. Uh, this value thing, I didn't realize you can set it above 1, because if I use the drag function, it only goes 0 to 1. If you actually set it above 1 and put it into the emissive color, um, it will appear to glow, which is super cool. Um, that means I can also use uh, parts of texture maps and make only certain parts of a mesh glow and all that fun stuff, so a lot of possibilities with that. Um, and I also use it in my particle emitter. Uh, or particle system, might I add, might I say. Um, so essentially I made a particle system um, for the muzzle flash and it is, it does have geometry, it is a mesh, um, which is awesome, you can make particle meshes, um, which is something I kind of knew I could do but I didn't know how to until now. Um, kind of show you what the, what the mesh is, get out of here you, just have this flash geometry here with a uh, texture so it's all unwrapped in a square and then just lays over the texture in a way to where it tiles the way I want it to you know super simple if I show you the uh, uh, the wire frame wherever it is there we go you can see it's just a cone and this is supposed to be a square but I think I accidentally subdivided everything so I, I don't really care subdivision is great hooray um but yeah, it, it doesn't affect the way it looks or anything, as you can, as you can see. But yeah, um, I'm really, really pleased with the way the particle systems work in this engine. Um, a lot more powerful than Roblox. If you've ever used Roblox, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and I've still only scratched the surface. Um, but yeah, anyway. I've also been working with using animation montages in C++ so that I can, oh boy, get out of here you, <laughs> so that I can better use uh, like reloading, fire animations and stuff like that. Um, so I'm able to, you know, to find them up here as montages and then um, I'll just show you in the reload. You can do a montage play um, and then it does a return type which I don't really care about because I'm not returning anything. I just have it set to the default so I can get to false for the looping, which is also something good. I might uh, implement this stuff into animation montages and take it out of my animation handler, which is basically something I should only be using for the jump state. Um, basically clean up a lot of that spaghetti mess that's going on in there right now and uh, be able to better control our animation montages from within she plush plush, which is going to be awesome. Um, and then I've also learned a little bit about the delegating the uh, montage ends to functions. So I've got the end delegate here being set way up yonder. Uh, we bind the end delegate um, to the function. And then in the uh, header file, we just define it as if on montage ended. So super easy stuff there. A lot of power. Um, this is something I'm still working on. I'm trying to make a uh, delay or a debounce for the jumping. So all fun and games, but it's not working yet. I'm also going to do it for the rolling animation. So stuff to stuff to look forward to. Um, anyway, I'll show you kind of how all this works so far. Um, still have some bugs with the idle animation and stuff, but again, I'm going to be fixing that. Um, you can see the see the that going on which I love um, I can also create some uh, animation curves and uh, tweening curves and stuff for for 
the tweens and everything but right now i'm just doing linear stuff so it's it looks fine linear but i i could make it better if i really wanted to um the reload um it's a terrible reload animation don't don't you laugh at me <laughs> i know i know how bad it is um but yeah anyway it works you know you can fire starts to reload um and then when it's done reloading you know just like the c plus plus tells it to do it fixes the ammo up for us fantastic so that's basically all i've done i could i could do more with the jumping stuff to hook it up to the stamina but it's not important basically i'm trying to learn how to make more things not fix the crap i have for my stupid learner project <laughs> um but anyway yeah that's that's what i've done this week i i'm super enjoying this engine i must say um can't wait to continue things i think my goal for next week is to uh get some bullet hole images appearing um get some particle effects maybe make some items with different material tags to do different bullet hole effects like glass concrete wood metal etc so that i can also bind sounds to them um still have this issue i know it's terrible that's what c plus plus is for <laughs> but anyway uh yeah if you like the videos that i'm doing so far i appreciate those who've been supporting me uh from my from the beginning of my journey to now which has only been like three weeks of this project but it's felt like longer because i have done quite a bit in it it is really coming along i've gone from a complete noob knowing nothing about the engine to being to you know being able to create character systems particle effects ballistics camera manipulation animation stuff you know all the all the fun goodies that goes into making an actual game um so yeah thank you guys for watching again my name is lensified and i'll see you guys next week